Well, moving ahead, American multinational advanced micro devices, a leader in the semiconductor space, is upbeat on growth in India. AMD's India head, Jaya Jagdish, spoke to Parishat Luthra on the company's growth blueprint. Take a look. So, uh, AMD India is uh, pretty central to overall AMD, both in terms of R&D and also in terms of business. I mean, uh, it is considered a mega region uh, for business, and uh, there's a lot of focus on India. And the R&D center also is primarily a uh, lot of uh, growth has happened in the last few years, where we've added last four years, we have kind of tripled our headcount. And we are now today about 7,000 plus engineers working pretty much on every product line of AMD, making significant contributions. And we are slated to grow more, uh, both in terms of expanding our business in India on the diverse portfolio that uh, of products that AMD offers, and also on the R&D front, where uh, we we will continue to work on, on the most important products for AMD. Right. Uh, I would like to ask you about uh, increasing your footprint in India. Uh, you had spoken about the hiring that you've done in the last few years, but is there a hiring plan for the next five years? Yes, uh, the part of the announcement of the investment was to add about 3,000 engineers to our workforce over the next five years. And we will be hiring uh, across various disciplines, which is silicon design, software, FPGAs. Of course, AI is, is a very important priority for us. So our hiring will continue on all of these uh, segments and will continue to expand our, I mean, it's not just the headcount, it's about the skill sets and the difference the teams make in the overall product, in the design of our product. I think that also has significantly been growing year on year and will continue to grow as we expand. Right. Now, the government in the recent past has made significant moves in chip fabrication. How does AMD envision the evolution of semiconductor manufacturing and design in India? And uh, what role is AMD looking to play? How do you see the overall semiconductor ecosystem in India currently? And how could it be better, Jaya? So it's uh, honestly, uh, you know, a lot of growth has happened in the semiconductor. A lot of people are now becoming more and more aware of the importance of the semiconductor industry. I think COVID taught us a lot. I mean, that's when a lot of these supply chain issues and disruptions happened, which kind of made the world realize the importance of semiconductors. And India, uh, too, is now, uh, of course, the design has been in India for more than three decades, and we have a strong foothold on, on that. Uh, manufacturing is something that, that is getting started now. There are, I mean, worldwide, there are many countries that want to achieve self-reliance in uh, semiconductor manufacturing, and India, too, is uh, progressing towards that. So it's truly a welcome initiative. But again, uh, it's not just... Uh, uh, the manufacturing that needs to happen. There is a whole ecosystem around it. There is design and there's packaging in between design and manufacturing and of course manufacturing. All of these have to be strengthened if, if we want to achieve self-reliance in manufacturing. So AMD is a fabulous company and there's no uh, immediate plan for us to invest in a fab and we continue to strengthen the ecosystem uh, with our design. Over the last 20 years with the complexity of our designs and, and the skilling that's needed with, from our engineers, that's what we have infused a lot of great skills into this ecosystem. And uh, that's where I see a lot of growth happening in India, along with the whole ecosystem of packaging and, and manufacturing. So it's truly a welcome to Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Business 360. More news and updates continue right here on CNBC TV 18.